morning and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens. This morning we are off to a tabletop sale instead of a car boot, hence the fact it's daylight. Um, never been to it before, it's at the Mid Devon Con Club in Newton Abbott, so let's see what we can find. Chris isn't saying anything. Apocalyptic Newton Abbott. Lockdown. Literally <laughs> that one. This is like lockdown, isn't it?
How much are your boots? Uh, I'm going to do 15 for the brand new, never been worn ones. Um, five for the uh, Five for the others? Yeah, so those are 15 on these. And these are a fiver. Yeah. Are they all magnums? Uh, all, all various ones. I mean, oh, these, okay. Uh, I mean, they're all, um, they're all issued. How much for all four? Call it 30, all four. All, all like eight mediums. Okay. Do 25 for the four? Cool. See what else you got. Okay, uh, I mean, this is just some stuff. I've got bags full down the bottom as well. Hmm. Are you after anything in particular? No, sometimes they like picking up like accessories and stuff. This little survival pool. Yeah, little accessories. This is old uh, mine, mine marking kits, just for any collectors or whatever. Okay. I've got all sorts down here to be honest. Pacer, goggles, see these are, that's uh, beacons. All right. I don't think I've, I've got a battery in there. Okay. Our flashers. How much are your, your accessories, your little bits and bobs here? Oh, just, it's just little, you know, I don't, what don't want that? loads of, that's a mine marking kit. Okay. So if I said that, that, some goggles, unless you've got anything else? Uh, yeah, I've got loads of little bits. What do you reckon on these then? Oh, just, just quite a fiver. Fiver on those? Okay, yeah, that's great. How much is your drill? Uh, just, uh, which one? Oh, you got more than one? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this one at the front. Just fiver. Fiver on that one. Is it, work? Is it all working? Yes, okay. yeah. I, I, yeah, it will be, it'll be Dad's, but, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, it's nice and warm up, yeah, man. Too hot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't charge it up yesterday. Okay. Go on, I'll give you a fiver for that. Okay. There you go. Any Jurassic Park dinosaurs or anything? Specifically Jurassic Park no. ones, no. I mean, the box of dinosaurs down there is. Oh, okay. I'll have a look. Sell as a one up, but. Christmas. Guess the poo. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>
like an amount of What did he do these? I've never so seen them before. No, so they, I, get it with I didn't realise they were actually slow climbing, but when they turn on, they walk, yeah. and they like yeah. move their heads up and down inside, and they make yeah. like so essentially I'm what I'm noises. Is, it, is that bone part of it? Yeah, so yeah. one of them, oh, I, don't know, yeah. I think that one in your hand, I've got a test. Yeah. it bends down and well, onto that. the bone. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was tempted to get that, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, I've not seen them before. No, I was going to Google what they're called because I can't like clean them out. I think they're cool. I know it's very small, yeah, you can't, small. can't quite see it. How much is the bar? It doesn't matter if my children um, are out because I still buy them a football on Christmas. Ashburton? Ashburton, yeah. They've got a lot indoor cabins today. Oh, right, okay. I'm not going down there, but... What's the name of the school? Um, South Dartmoor School, Ashburton. There's only, there's only the one big school in I'll look it up. Okay, and that's half nine, is it? Yeah. It's not a massive in Ashburton, is there? Yeah, but it's, uh, I suppose, you half nine. Um, How much do you want for these? Two pounds each. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What have you got on these shirts? Um, just pretty much everything. Two pounds. Two pounds. Jackets. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the ones that have got the badges still on. Oh, they're right. kind of a bit more appealing. Uh -huh. So rather than plain ones. So that one. That one. Is this one the same? Probably, yeah. Those three? Yep, uh, two pounds each. Okay. <laughs> Should have done a bundle, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, right. No, well, I might have some more here then. Oh, what? So, are these two as well? Um, well that one's a bit a more. Five on that. Yeah. What about, what's this one? Uh, yep, field jacket again. I think that one's got badges on. I'm not sure about yeah, that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Three pounds for that one. Alright, go on then. We'll take that one and we'll take that Five, one. Eight, and then six, uh, so six. 14. Yep. I know. Where's the lady gone? Okay. Oh, there you are. Oh, thanks so much. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've done all right. We've got some stuff. Excellent. And your guys have had some sales, so that's good. Yeah. I get so, I, every time I get sucked in by the child selling something and end up coming away with either a brew. <laughs> She's a monkey. She is. <laughs> so when's your next one? Well. Hope, if this goes okay, we do on the 18th of December. 18th of December. Right okay. on Christmas. Yeah, yeah good idea. Maybe, Why not? If you can get your video you out, you might be able to get a bit more. Do you think we're doing it right? Promotion. Yeah. Why not? Just just Where promote did you it. Find out about it. I think you posted it in my group, my Facebook group, uh, Devon and Cornwall yeah. Carby. Yeah. 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 That's my group. That. Right. Um, just you just got to advertise it as much as you can. Yeah. That's it. Get people to share it. The Facebook, definitely a lot of the Facebook of groups, like it. the Spotted Tor Bay, Spotted yeah. Painting Yeah, we put it on Spotted like Newton Abbott. Yeah. yeah. So. Stuff like that. It's very hard to like start a new one though. I'm really yeah. hard. I'm not it part is. of Spotted Newton Abbott, but I'm part of Spotted but Tor Bay. Try, and... Trying to get word out, innit? Mm. Once yeah. word oh. gets out, once you've done one, yeah. The words can yeah. get out, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for letting me film. Not everybody likes it, but no, you know, no, no, no. it's free we, promo, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We'll head back and see what we got. I got sucked in by the child. I have a 3D blue gingerbread man out of Shrek. And what are you going to do with that? Cam's going to get it as a Christmas wrap up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hey, welcome back. We're back from a brand new tabletop sale in Newton Abbott here in Devon, which is not far from here, about a 10 minute drive. It was at the, um, the Mid Devon Conservative Club uh, in Newton Abbott, just in case you want to check it out, because they are planning on doing future ones. So could be one to look out for. Um, so first thing I'm going to go through everything that I picked up there. And even though it was only small, I did get some decent stuff. But if you stay tuned, 
I've got some bonus haul to go through with you because I went to a boot sale afterwards um, in Ashburton and um, I'll show you what I picked up there as well. So just stay tuned for that. We'll do that right at the end. Um, just before we get into this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button just in case you forget later on. Okay, let's crack on. I got a load of army stuff. Uh, there was a chap there clearly selling off all his army gear. Um, and uh, we did a deal on quite a bit of stuff. Now, um, I have bought army stuff before. It does go pretty well, depending on what it is, obviously. So that's why I decided to plump for a few bits from that store, because the prices were very fair. Um, so these brand new, um, what are the brand on them? They are Mine DL, M-E-I-N-D-L. Um, these like desert combat boots. Um, never been worn, absolutely brand spanking new. Um, these worked out at about £12, £13 because we did a deal. So I think these could be maybe around the £50 mark for those. So that would be okay if that, if that came true. Um, what else have we got? Another pair of desert boots. This one, this one is, is it Magnum? These are Magnums. Um, pretty good condition. Magnums are always sought after. Um, these worked out at just under £5. I paid £25 for four pairs, a brand new and three second hand, £25. Um, some light wear to them. So for less than £5, it's a bit of a no-brainer. I'm thinking um, around £40 for those on eBay. Um, now, two pairs of black boots. This pair is a Gore-Tex, which is always good to see. It looks like it's been sort of stored in the garage for a while. Now, I might have some issues with this. There is some cracking on the on the side here. Um, you might be able to see it, you might not. But um, there is some cracking to that. I'm going to have to just give them a good bend and just see if they're going to withstand, you know, use. But it looks like they've never been worn, probably been in storage for a long time. If they're OK, less than £5 paid, Probably, again, looking at sort of the £40 mark again. Um, and these are... What are these? Uh, Vibram. Vibram. Um, again, just under the £5 mark paid. Um, but lower on the side. Possibly, again, sort of a, around the £40, 30 to 40 on those. So there's some good um, good markup on those. Okay, I bought quite a bit of stuff from this guy. Uh, if you are watching by any stretch, thank you for the deals. Really, uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I bought some army shirts. Now, I tend to kind of walk away when I just see, like, plain army gear. Um, not all plain army gear, but like the shirts. I wouldn't bother if it was plain because there's so many you can buy on eBay. But what I do look for is when they have the badges on on the side, on the arms, or on the uh, whatever patches they've got on. I tend to pick those up because they just seem to sell a bit better with badges on. Um, so these shirts, I've got that one. This is the same. I think it's got the same patches on. On the side there. Uh, that's one, two... Three there. I think these were two pound each, so that was a good buy. I think these, some, I think somewhere between twenty and twenty-five pound each on these. And I know a few of you who watch um, might have a better idea on price on these. I'm, I'm no expert on army gear, but I know if you can pick it up cheap enough like this, two pound a shirt, it's going to have some value. So I'm thinking off the top of my head. 20 to 25 each, but it's going to depend very much on, on these patches, these badges. So if you are watching, Dave uh, ABL, Dave ABL reselling, he's always into his army gear. If you're watching, Dave, drop us a comment. Um, now, I picked up this this as well. This is a brand new stock combat multi-terrain. I think it's a jacket, hooded jacket. Um... This could be worth a fair bit. I think I paid £5 for that. That's an absolute bargain. That could be £60 to £70 there. 
This one I think is the same thing. I think this is like just not in package. It's clearly not been worn. It's brand new, but just not in the packet. There's no patches on it, but because it's a jacket, it definitely got value. This one was only three pound because it wasn't in the packet. So I reckon on this one, we could be, could be 40 to 50 on that. Um, again, if you're watching and you know about army combat gear and whatnot, um, do drop us a comment. Let me know if I'm way off the mark with some of these prices. These, I've got two of these. These are like Under Armour shirts, not Under Armour the brand, Under Armour. So it kind of soaks up the sweat under the armour, that's what he said to me. Um, but they do have some patches on. I need to check out what these are. Um, but at £2 each, I think they're probably worth about 20 20 each. And that's the same, that was £2. Again, an under armour top, um, probably worth £20. Sticking with the army gear, um, a brand new pair of leather um, sort of desert gloves. Uh, they look to be brand new. Um, there's no branding on them, kind of unbranded. So I think, I think about fifteen pound on those. They were two pound. A pair of goggles or glasses. These are ESS goggles. Clearly been used. Needs a bit of a clean up. Obviously got a load of dust and desert, whatever on it, sand. Um, some spare lenses in there, put on. Maybe these are darker ones. So some extra lenses. These were two pound. I can't get it back in, there we go. Um, I think, um, I'm not sure on these, to be honest. It, I'm thinking 20 on those at a two pound spend. Now I bought two of these kits. These are mine, mine detection um, kits. Personal mines extraction kit. Tell you what, I won't fancy having to use one of these. So hats off to you. Anybody who has to even be in the situation where they use one of these. It's got these, I don't know if these are like markers or something, like you dig them into the ground like markers. I, I don't know, I can't pretend to know how these work. It's got all bits and bobs, gloves, products or whatever in there with its pouch. Whoops, a daisy. Um, these were two pound each, each kit. I've got two of them, I think he only had two. Ooh. You know what I thought then? Oh, I better not bang them together. They're mine, mine extraction kits. How stupid am I? Um, two pound each. Um, these are actually going for decent money. 20 to 30 pound each kit for a two pound each spend. So that's decent. And the last army item um, is this, um, I think it's like a survival kit. So um, there's a mirror here, so you can kind of look round corners and things. Um, I'll show you what else is in that kit in a second. I don't know what this is, so can someone just give me a clue on what that is? I do not know at all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But again, I think this this survival kit was like two pound, uh, but it comes with like a little metal tin with a load of little things in it. We, um, now it comes with this, which probably would be quite dangerous. I don't know if I'm able to even sell these on eBay. Actually, I've not checked, but you know that could be used for cutting things. I expect or. Or worse. Um, it's a bit of a sewing kit. Enough said on that. Uh, there's a little mini compass. Um, I don't know what this is. Could be handling something extremely dangerous. Uh, it's got a warning on the, on the side. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I dare not open it. 
Um, there's some water purifying tablets. Oh, hello, hello, just in case. Uh, that that expired 22 years ago. Maybe I should keep that. I don't know if I'm allowed to sell that. I'm, 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 I would guess. I would guess maybe not because of some of the items that are in there. But I picked it up anyway. Um, Two pound for that that bundle. Um, little survival kit. Let me know what you think of that. Okay, let's move away from the army gear, but I was pretty happy with all that stuff, by the way. Um, I picked up a book bundle. Belle spotted it, and she's a fan of these books. So, was this a pound? I think this was a pound. Um, Philip Pullman, his dark materials. Um, I think that is probably £10. And I undernarmed over... Undernard? Undenarmed. Undenard over these uh, little toys. They are um, build a pet or something. Like build a pet, is it? Something like that. That's build a fox, build a tiger, some, something like that. I think you build you build them from scratch yourselves. Um, three pound for the pair. I'm probably just going to keep them together as a pair. Um, Maybe 25 for the pair. Couple of games. Um, just bought these on the off chance. I wasn't sure of the value. Uh, pound each. Uh, this Nintendo DS game, uh, Professor Layton Spectre Call. Spectre's Call. Um, that's probably worth a tenner, so I'm, I'm doing all right. This one's not worth as much. Link's Crossbow Training. That's only worth about three pound or something. So I have got um, Wii bundles to put together, so I'll, I'll just save that and I'll, I'll throw it in one, with one of the Wii bundles. And the last thing from this tabletop sale was this back Black & Decker drill, combi drill. Uh, it doesn't come with everything. Um, it has got the instructions, it's got the case, it's got the battery, it's got the charger and it's got the drill. And um, I need to just charge it up. Because I think, oh, it's just got a tiny bit of charge in there. Uh, but it seems to be working. Uh, I paid a fiver for it. And I think, just as it is, without the parts or anything, without any extras, like a replacement drill, maybe £30 on it. £30 for a £5 spend. Um, yeah, so that was okay. That was everything at the um, Conservative Club uh, tabletop. So uh, thank you for letting me film in there as well, if you're watching now. Really appreciate it, and we'll come back again soon. Now then, we promise you some bonus content, some bonus haul, which I'm going to do now. So we got a bit of a tip-off at that tabletop. that There was another car boot sale on, not far from us uh, in Ashburton. So we went along to that. We were a little bit late, so we didn't get the early bird bargains. But we did find some decent stuff considering we were about 45 minutes late. Um, I'm going to start off with a load of jigsaws. Um, I only pick up jigsaws as a general rule if they are sealed. These three are not sealed but they are very unusual. They are vintage 1980s um, almost impossible puzzles. Um, very nice looking things. And these are complete, they are still in one piece, they've never been attempted, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. There ain't no way I would have a go at this. Basically, there's 168 identical shaped pieces, like these salamander things, and that would give me the worst headache ever. But if you're into jigsaws, if you like a challenge, these could be for you. Um, I paid just over £1 each on these. And I've listed them from varying prices from 20 to £35 each on those. I didn't expect them to be worth that much, but seems to be that they are worth a fair bit. Now, I got these that are sealed. These were all £2 each, these jigsaws. That one um, I've listed for about £15, I think. This one's worth a bit more, this like German collection um 
Again, £2 paid. I've actually listed that for £30. Seems to be a bit more of an unusual one. And this one I think I listed for 15 as well. It's a panoramic uh, scene of the Tower Bridge in London. Uh, again, £2 paid on that one. So some nice jigsaws there. Also picked up this Raphael turtle, this Nickelodeon turtle figure. Box is a bit bashed, but it was only £2. And you know what I'm like with movie and TV related items and figures. So £2 paid. I think I can list that on eBay for about £15. Um, I might be a little bit ambitious on that, but I'm going to try for 15 It is Christmas at the end of the day, so maybe we'll get lucky with it. Two plushes. £2 each paid for these. I don't normally pay £2 on a plush unless it's kind of unusual, and I think these two are. This is a reindeer from Blythebury Reindeer Lodge. Um, so I've listed that one for 20 There isn't even another one. Um, there isn't even another one, you know, listed or sold. So that's pretty rare by the looks of it. And this one is from the National Maritime Museum in Cornwall. He's a Viking, obviously, and unusually he comes with the hat. Sometimes the hat is missing. So I've also listed that one for £20. Or did I go 25 for that? Hmm. Might have gone 25 on that one. Um, and the other thing I picked up at this boot sale was a gaming bundle. It's an Xbox 360S. That's a slim Xbox. Um, and it's in pretty nice order. I've tested it. I've cleaned it, I've tested it, and it's all brilliantly working. It's a 250 gigabyte version, which means it's worth a bit more than your normal sort of bog standard one. It's got that extra memory in it. So I got that. So let's just plonk that there for a minute. It only came with the power lead and an unofficial um, rock candy joypad. So it only came with that. So no, no HDMI and nothing else with it. But it did have a load of games. So I've got 14 games in total. There's no bangers here. They're just sort of bundle fodder. So those. So all that lot was £20, which I think was a pretty good deal. Because I'm going to tell you how I'm going to sell all this. I'm going to split it up. I decided because it didn't have the HDMI and I didn't have a spare HDMI, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to split everything and see what I can get for it. So what I've done is this. So remember, I've spent £20 on this bundle. So I've, I've listed the console, just the console, as a replacement console for £35. I think that's right on the money for um, a 250 gigabyte. So that's 35 for that. I've put the um, power brick up for £12, so that's £47. I think I've put the controller up for £15, so that's £57, £62 so far, £62. Um, these two games, that's the old Xbox games, that's basically worthless, um, so we're going to just... Don't know what we're going to do with it. That's missing a disc, so that's worthless. And that's a random manual, so that's worthless. So forget about those. So we're on £62 so far. So the rest of the games, I think there's 12 here. I did two bundles of six, and I'm going to list these £20 a bundle. Because these games are pretty much games that are... If I was to list them on their own, they would be three to six pound games. So I decided to do bundles... And I've gone £20, £20, so that's 40 So that means I've listed separately that whole lot for £102. So that's not bad for a £20 spend. I think that's a good example of how sometimes you can split things up and probably get a bit more money than what you would do keeping it together. Because I think if I was to sell the console with the controller the power lead, buy in um, a HDMI cable, only a couple of quid, and put the 12 games with it, probably get about 60 quid, 70 quid. But splitting it out, I'm hoping, might get me a bit more money. That is everything that I picked up today. I hope you enjoyed it. Back out at the tabletops and the boot sales. Um, drop us a comment and don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. 
Um, look out for future videos coming out and don't forget we're always live on a Monday night on our channel. Come and join us, it's a lot of fun. See you later and thanks for joining us, thanks for watching, take care.